In this lesson, we will look at the ratings which must or may be added to a pilot's license. Some ratings, therefore, are required to be included in a license, while other ratings are optional. For instance, a pilot must hold a valid class or type rating for the aeroplane he flies, and he may not conduct any form of flying instruction unless he holds a flight instructor's rating. Let's begin at the beginning. Even though a pilot is the holder of a valid pilot's license, he is not permitted to act in any capacity as a pilot of an aeroplane unless he has a valid and appropriate class or type rating for that aeroplane. The only exception to this regulation is when a pilot is receiving flight instruction with an authorised instructor or undergoing a skills test with an authorised examiner. Consequently, in addition to a pilot's licence, a pilot is also required to hold a valid class or type rating for any aeroplane that he wishes to fly. Generally, class ratings apply to simple aircraft, whereas a type rating is required for a more sophisticated aircraft. For example, a private pilot wishing to fly single pilot, single engine piston land aircraft only will need just the one class rating to fly any aircraft of that class. One of the class ratings, for instance, is single engine piston land. This includes the PA-28 Warrior, de Havilland Chipmunk or any other similar aeroplane. If a private pilot then wished to progress to flying single pilot twin piston engine aircraft, he need only acquire a further class rating for that class of aircraft so that he could then fly any aircraft of that class. On the other hand, the holder of a commercial or air transport pilot's license who flies as a pilot on any multi-pilot aircraft requires a separate type rating for each type of aircraft he flies. Class ratings do not apply here. For instance, a separate type rating is required for aircraft such as the Boeing 737, the Dash 8 or the Airbus A320. If a pilot wishes to fly different classes or types of aeroplane, he will be required to receive appropriate training and pass a separate skill test on each class or type of aeroplane he intends to fly. In general, it may be stated that, with the exception of pilots undergoing a skill test or dual training, holders of a Joint Aviation Authority's pilot license, aeroplanes, may not act in any capacity as a pilot of an aeroplane flying under the instrument flight rules unless their license includes a valid instrument rating issued in accordance with joint aviation regulations and which is appropriate to the category of aircraft they are flying. Some JAA member states, however, such as the United Kingdom, permit non-instrument rated pilots to fly under the instrument flight rules under certain specified conditions for instance, along advisory routes. The United Kingdom also has a national IMC rating, which permits the holder to fly in IFR and also in instrument meteorological conditions. Again, in certain specified circumstances. National IMC ratings are restricted to use in the airspace of the state of license issue only. We'll now take a closer look at the different kinds of ratings. Let's look at class ratings first. As we have said, a class rating is usually issued with a private pilot's license. A class rating qualifies a pilot to fly as pilot in command of any aeroplane within that class. Class ratings are issued for the following classes of aeroplanes. All single-engine piston aeroplanes land all single engine piston aeroplanes C all touring motor gliders 
Each manufacturer of single-engine turboprop aeroplanes, land. Each manufacturer of single-engine turboprop aeroplanes, sea. All multi-engine piston aeroplanes, land. All multi-engine piston aeroplanes, sea. There is no limitation on the number of class ratings that a pilot may hold at any one time. JAR Ops regulations, however, may restrict the number of ratings that can be exercised at any one time. To obtain a class rating, a pilot will need to attend a class rating course for the relevant type, consisting of both theoretical knowledge and flying instruction, pass a theoretical knowledge examination, pass a skill test on an appropriate aircraft type, conducted by a class rating examiner. Although a class rating, in general, qualifies a pilot to fly any aeroplane within that class, differences training may be required in order that he may pilot a variant of aircraft within the class, but which has markedly different flying characteristics and technical and performance specifications. For the single-engine piston land class rating, the class rating held by the majority of PPL holders, differences training with an improved instructor is required when changing from the simple, light, fixed, tricycle undercarriage, fixed-pitch propeller aeroplane, shown on screen here, to aeroplanes displaying the following features. Variable pitch constant speed propeller, retractable undercarriage, turbocharged or supercharged engine, cabin pressurization, tailwheel. Successful completion of differences training does not result in the issue of any sort of certificate. The fact that differences training has been successfully completed is entered in the pilot's logbook or equivalent document and signed by a flight instructor, class rating instructor or type rating instructor as appropriate. Now let's look at type ratings. As we have said, type ratings apply to more sophisticated types of aircraft. For instance, the holder of a commercial or air transport pilot's license normally requires a separate type rating for each type of aircraft he flies. For example, a Boeing 737, Airbus A320 or Dash 8. There is no JAR FCL limit to the number of ratings that may be held at one time. JAR Ops, however, may restrict the number of ratings that can be exercised at any one time. In general, type ratings are required for each type of multi-pilot aeroplane, each type of single-pilot multi-engine aeroplane fitted with turboprop, or turbojet engines, each type of single pilot single engine aeroplane fitted with turbojet engines, any other type of aeroplane considered necessary by the National Aviation Authority. To obtain a type rating, a pilot will need to Attend a type rating course for the relevant aircraft type, consisting of both theoretical knowledge and flying instruction. Pass a theoretical knowledge examination. Pass a skill test on the aircraft type, conducted by a type rating examiner. As you have already learnt, the validity of a pilot's licence is dependent on the validity of the ratings it contains and the currency of the associated medical certificate. In the next few sections, we will look at the period of validity of the ratings and any conditions which need to be fulfilled for their revalidation. For instance, single pilot, single engine piston class ratings, including touring motor glider ratings, 
are valid for two years. In order to revalidate this type of rating, the pilot must either pass a proficiency check with an authorised examiner within the three months preceding the expiry date of the rating, or within 12 months of the expiry date of the rating, have flown 12 hours on an aircraft of the relevant class to include 6 hours as pilot in command, 12 takeoffs and 12 landings, a training flight of at least one hour's duration with a flight instructor or a class rating instructor. Type ratings and multi-engine piston class ratings for aeroplanes are valid for one year from the date of issue. If the rating is revalidated within its period of validity, the new rating will be valid from the date of expiry of the old rating. In order to revalidate a type rating or multi-engine class ratings, aeroplanes, a pilot must fulfil the following conditions. Undergo a proficiency check with an authorised examiner, for instance a type rating examiner, in the relevant type or class of aeroplane within the three months immediately preceding the expiry date of the rating. During the period of validity of the rating, the pilot must also Carry out at least 10 route sectors as pilot of the relevant type or class of aeroplane or one route sector as pilot of the relevant type or class of aeroplane flown with an examiner. In order to change to another variant of the aeroplane within one type rating category, for instance there is one type rating for both the Boeing 757 and the Boeing 767, differences or familiarisation training may be required. If a pilot fails any part of a proficiency check for a class rating or type rating, he must not exercise the privileges of that rating until all the parts of the proficiency check have been successfully completed. If a type rating or multi-engine class rating has expired, the rating must be renewed. In order to renew a rating, a pilot must satisfy any refresher training requirements as determined by the appropriate National Aviation Authority as well as completing a proficiency check. The rating will then be valid from the date of completion of the renewal requirements. With the exception of pilots undergoing a skill test or dual training and certain national conditions for private pilot holders, holders of a Joint Aviation Authority's pilot licence may not act in any capacity as a pilot of an aeroplane or helicopter flying under the instrument flight rules unless their license includes a valid instrument rating issued in accordance with joint aviation regulations and which is appropriate to the category of aircraft they are flying. An instrument rating is valid for one year from the date of issue or renewal or from the expiry date of a current instrument rating if revalidated before the expiry date is reached. If the instrument rating is restricted for use in multi-pilot operations only, the revalidation or renewal will be carried out during multi-pilot operations. If the instrument rating has not been revalidated or renewed within the preceding seven years, the holder will be required to retake the instrument rating theoretical knowledge examination as well as the skills test. An applicant for an instrument rating must hold a PPL, including a night qualification, or CPL, and must have completed at least 50 hours cross-country flight time as pilot in command in aeroplanes or helicopters. An applicant for an instrument rating must have received theoretical knowledge instruction on an improved course at an improved flying training organisation. The course should, wherever possible, be combined with a flying training course. The revalidation of an instrument rating should be combined with the type or class rating proficiency check.
There are seven instructor ratings for aeroplanes, recognised under joint aviation regulations. Click on the head of the instructor in the right-hand seat to reveal the seven instructor categories. The flight instructor rating itself. A fully qualified flight instructor is the person who teaches you basic and advanced flying skills. A flight instructor who has no restrictions on his rating can teach a student all types of flying skills, including night flying and instrument flying. The type rating instructor. A type rating instructor, as the name suggests, can prepare a pilot, usually a professional pilot, who is qualified on one type of aircraft to become qualified on a different type of aircraft. The class rating instructor. A class rating instructor can prepare a pilot, usually a private pilot, who is qualified on one class of aircraft to become qualified on another class of aircraft. The instrument rating instructor. The synthetic flight instructor authorization. The multi crew cooperation instructor authorization. The synthetic training instructor authorization. In addition, the multi crew pilot's license, MPL authorization will allow any of the instructor ratings above to instruct a student following the MPL program. For the remainder of this lesson, we will look a little more closely at flight instructor ratings. Before being permitted to begin an approved course of training to become a flight instructor, an applicant must have satisfied the following conditions. Be at least 18 years old, either possess a commercial pilot's license or higher level of license, or, if holding only a private pilot's license, have at least 200 hours flight time, of which 150 hours must be as pilot in command, have met the theoretical knowledge requirements for a commercial pilot's license, or higher level of license, have received at least 10 hours instrument flight instruction, of which not more than 5 hours may be instrument ground time in a flight navigation procedures trainer, or flight simulator, have passed a specific pre-entry flight test within the six months preceding the start of the flight instructor's course, have completed at least 30 hours on single-engine piston aircraft, of which at least five hours must have been completed during the six months preceding the pre-entry flight test, have completed at least 20 hours of cross-country flight as pilot in command, including a flight totaling not less than 540 kilometres, or 300 nautical miles, in the course of which full-stop landings at two different aerodromes must be made. In this section, we cover the privileges of the flight instructor rating. Until the holder of a flight instructor rating has completed at least 100 hours of flight instruction and, in addition, has supervised at least 25 student solo flights, the privileges of the rating are restricted. These restrictions will be removed from the rating when the above requirements have been met and on the recommendation of the supervising flight instructor. There are several privileges which appertain to the holder of a flight instructor rating, provided certain conditions have been fulfilled. However, in effect, certain restrictions continue to apply to the flight instructor rating until the conditions are fulfilled. Here are some examples of flight instructor privileges and the conditions which must be fulfilled before those privileges can be exercised, once the initial restriction that we have just mentioned is lifted. A flight instructor who holds an unrestricted flight instructor rating may conduct flight instructions for the issue of the private pilot's license and for class ratings for single-engine piston-driven aeroplanes. The holder of an unrestricted flight instructor rating may carry out flight instruction for the issue of a commercial pilot's license, provided that he has completed at least 500 hours of flight time as a pilot of aeroplanes, including at least 200 hours of flight instruction. The holder of an unrestricted flight instructor rating may carry out flight instruction in night flying 
provided the instructor holds a night qualification and has demonstrated his ability to instruct at night to an appropriately qualified night flying instructor and provided that the JAR FCL night currency requirement is satisfied. The holder of an unrestricted flight instructor rating may carry out flight instruction for the issue of an instrument rating provided that he has at least 200 hours flight time in accordance with instrument flight rules and completed as a student an approved course comprising at least five hours of flight instruction in accordance with joint aviation requirements. Further privileges appertain to the holder of an unrestricted flight instructor rating, such as conducting flying training for the issue of a multi-engine instrument rating, single pilot multi-engine class rating, and to train student flight instructors, provided that the required conditions of experience and training have been fulfilled. That completes the lesson on ratings.